All right, so the theme here is triad pairs. Now, the concept of triad pairs is to literally take a pair of triads from a key. In this case, we're playing over one chord, which is C, and I'm thinking of it as the key of C major. So in the key of C major, when we harmonize that key, we get triads from each note, built from each note of the scale. So if we take the first note of the scale, jump a third, jump a third, we get a C major triad. Then we can do the same thing from the second note of the C major scales. Take the second note, skip a third, skip a third, we get up with a D minor. So in total there's seven triads which go with seven notes of the scale. So C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, back to C again. Okay, so if we hear these triads over a C major chord, uh, some of them are going to sound more at rest and some of them are going to sound more suspended. So if we start on the C major triad played over a C major chord, obviously that is going to sound extremely at rest. We got the root, the third, the fifth, which matches exactly with the chord. Okay, now if we play the second triad from the key D minor, that's going to sound very suspended because we got the D, which is the second, we got the F, which is the fourth, and we got the A, which is the fifth. So it's kind of a suspended sound. So it wants to resolve. Now it doesn't mean it's bad, it's not bad. We just have to be aware when we're hitting these notes that they really want to the for example the A wants to move down to to G. The F wants to move down to E. And the D wants to move down to C or or up to E. And likewise the F could could also move up to to G. Okay? So this is a suspended sound. Now if we go to the next triad, E minor, hearing that over C, it's actually quite at rest. We got the E which is the third, then we got the fifth, then we got the seventh. It's pretty much at rest. Maybe, maybe you want to resolve the B, but overall it sounds pretty good. Then the F, definitely a suspended sound. The F is wants to resolve the fourth, the A wants to resolve down to the fifth, and the, the C in the chord is at rest, but it's basically, it wants to resolve, okay? Then the next one, G, pretty at rest. We got G, which is the fifth. We got B is the major seven, and then the ninth. It's kind of like gives it a, a nice major nice sound. sounds great and that's what I was doing mostly in the track. Then we got A minor. It's kind of suspended. Kind of gives you that sixth, that, uh, sixth sound but definitely the A to my ears wants to move. And then the last one, B diminished, definitely is suspended. It wants to wants to resolve. So what I did is I took two of the more uh, uh, less suspended sounds, which was C and G, and played around those. But of course you could choose any two triads and kind of uh, put them together. So for example, I could go up the, the C triad and then the G, then down the C. So. So makes a nice line, right? So C, G, C. Try these in different places.
Okay, we could also take two that are kind of opposed to each other. So for example, C and D minor. That was a C, D minor, C, D minor, back to C. This is going to give you way more interesting lines than just seeing a scale as a straight row of notes. You're pulling out these different sounds in there. Okay, so try out this and we'll talk about more in the next section.